Hi, this is Fred. We're going to show you how you can set up your own BigBlueButton server using the BBB install script. To do this, we're going to create a server here on DigitalOcean. Kind of like DigitalOcean because it gives you virtual servers with a single IP address. Uh, it's already chosen Ubuntu 1604. That's what we need. BigBlueButton requires lots of CPU for transcoding audio video. So as the documentation uh, recommends, we're going to do four cores. And we'll leave the region and we'll put the key that we're going to use. Let's give it a name, BBB test install. And we'll click create. So what will happen is it will now just go ahead and create a server. So we'll give it a moment to create. Okay, the server's created. We have an IP address. So I'm just going to copy this. And I already have a terminal window set up. So I'm going to put the IP address in. Okay, connect, yes. All right, so now let's use the BBB install command. Okay, so I'm going to paste this in. So this will uh, download the install script, run it through bash, and I'm going to pass one parameter. The version is Xenial 2.0. So it's going to install the latest build for Xenial, which is Ubuntu 16.04, uh, 2.0 version. So we're just going to let it run, and in a few minutes we'll come back and the server will be set up. Okay, Big Blue Button is finished uh, installing, so let's take a look at what it looks like. Here it has installed the API demo, so I'm just going to use the given URL, go back, and we'll connect. I'm using Firefox because Firefox doesn't require an SSL certificate for WebRTC audio. So I'll be able to connect using the, say yes, I'll be able to connect using the um, higher quality audio. If I was using Chrome, it would fail because the server is not being served from SSL and it would fall back using Flash audio. We kind of want the WebRTC audio because it's, it's much better, frankly. Okay, looks like it's coming up. Okay, so I'm gonna join the audio. Allow, the echo test, hello, hello. And I'm in. This is the Big Blue Button server, ready to run. Okay, but what we really want now is to install an SSL certificate on this so we can use Chrome. And it's always good to have the pages loaded through SSL anyway. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to the command line and I'm going to assign a host name for this and then come back and make sure that host name resolves. Okay, so we've assigned a host name for this and the host name is BBB test install .big blue button .org. and it's resolving to this IP address. So this is really important because we're going to be able to use Let's Encrypt to basically uh, install SSL for it. Okay, so to do this, let's take the command and I'm just going to add two parameters to it, .s for the site name. So we'll do BBB test dash install bigbluebutton.org, and I have to give it an email address, bigbluebutton.org. Okay, so now it's going to go through Let's Encrypt installation, and it will validate that the server is accessible to Let's Encrypt from that host name, and once it has validated that, it will assign an SSL certificate, and the install script will configure BigBlueButton to use that SSL certificate. Okay, so the Let's Encrypt certificate was approved, which is great. The configuration is done, and it's just restarting the Big Blue Button server now. It, this warning message really just says, hey, the host name is not matching the IP address, which is expected, but we can see that knowing that the that's the correct host name for the server, um, this is more of a warning. It doesn't mean there's anything wrong with the server configuration. Okay, so big blue button started up. So now let's use this URL. Okay, so start up a new session. And you can see it's now got a secure certificate. So if I 
view this information, you can see it's provided by Let's Encrypt. It's great. So now if I join Big Blue Button, okay, so it'll come up, page will be loaded by uh, HTTPS. I can say remember this decision, won't be prompted again, and the client will load. So this is good because a Google will downplay the sites if it's not loaded through SSL. Um, I can now we can now use um, Chrome to do WebRTC audio. Firefox, of course, will work as well. And uh, the site is just generally more secure. So if I join my microphone, test, yeah, test. Yeah. Yep. yep. Looks good. Okay, the next thing is, let's say we want to try out the latest build of the HTML5 client. So I'm just gonna go up here and I will just add a dash T. And what it'll do is it'll just uh, detect that, okay, I've actually added to install HTML5 client as well. And it will go through the installation. Again, this is just doing the steps that it normally uh, would do in the documentation. But here the script is going to do all those steps for us. Okay, the install script has finished installing the HTML5 client. So let's go back and access it here. Again, these are accessing from the API demos. And I'm gonna to go to the HTML5 client and I'll log in as Fred, HTML5. And I'm gonna log in here. I'll just log in using the regular client. Let's log in as Fred. Okay, so the HTML5 client's come up. I'm gonna join the audio. Test, test. Okay. So this is under development. Again, as you watch this video, it may actually be released, but it is a pure uh, HTML5 implementation of the Big Button client. So here, if I go over to the regular client, Flash-based, I'll make myself the presenter. And let's say I just change the page and I draw a bit. It's being mirrored here on the HTML5 client. And I'm in the audio as well. Public chat, if I say hi, I go over here, I can see it, hi back. I could start a poll up. Have you used HTML5 client? True, false. I'll go back to here, I'll respond true. And I can see the response and I can publish. So this would let users join from a Android or iOS device, iOS 11 or above. Okay. The last bit is let's install GreenLight. GreenLight is the front end that makes it easy to access the Big Blue Button server. I'm just gonna close these, go back, I'll go up and I'll do a dash G. So even though I've got the other parameters here to install Big Blue Button, set up the uh, let's encrypt, install the HTML5 client, the install script detects that these are already installed, so it's not gonna reinstall them. But let's do the installation for GreenLight. And this is going to install Docker, download the Greenlight Docker container, and configure Big Blue Button so that I can just hit the home, the URL, and it will come up with the Docker or come up with the uh, Greenlight interface. Okay, the installation is finished. If I do Docker PS, I can see Greenlight is running. And now let's just go to the host name itself. Okay, so it's firing up Greenlight, which is a Ruby on Rails based front end that uses the Big Blue Button API. So I can just go here and I can do test meeting. I have an invite URL that I can copy if I want. I can start it, Fred Dixon, and then I can join. And once I join, it'll give me an invite URL that I can use to invite others. Uh, at this point, I could do a little bit more configuration on Greenlight on using OAuth, so I could actually do recorded sessions and Greenlight would manage the recordings as well. That's in the documentation. Let's go in, test. Hey, hey test, test. Great. I have an invite link here where I could copy this. And let's just say I'm gonna join, be invited to the meeting. It says, hey, I've been invited to the meeting. 
say another user. So I send this to my friends, they can connect in, and I come back here, and in a moment, I'll see them come in. So this is using basically um, the BBB install script, which will allow us to install a version of BigBlueButton 2.0. We can use it for Let's Encrypt configure with Let's Encrypt. Have to has a fully qualified domain name that's pointing to it. And then we can also uh, install the HTML5 client and install Greenlight as well. All And we could have done that with all one command. In this video, we just walked through them step by step so you could see how they work. So that's an easy way to set up a Big Blue Button server. Uh, invite you to try it out yourself and give us feedback. Uh, looking forward to hearing back from folks who are using Big Blue Button.